Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. If you are new here, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We took a trip to Disney's Wyndham Lake Resort, Disney Spring, the Boathouse. This vlog was filmed from August 12 through the 15th, 2023. This trip was a few days with my husband, mother, which she was here in Florida. Next stop was the Wyndham Lake Resort. That day, my husband and I drove to Wyndham Lake Resort at Walt Disney World property to pick his mom up. My in-laws stayed a few nights at this amazing hotel. We arrived at the entrance drop-off. The service was really good. The staff was so friendly and helpful. They would help you park your vehicle and bring your luggage to your room. Wyndham Lake Buena Vista Disney Springs Resort. It is an official Walt Disney World hotel. The resort is convenient suited directly across the street from Disney Springs, which was great for us. The Wyndham Lake Buena Vista theme guest room feature amazing views of the surrounding areas. Walt Disney World Resort themed water park feature pool, playground, two outdoor pools, and an sand volleyball court area. Next, we drove to Disney Spring. So when we drive to Disney Spring, we like to park at the Orange Garage, which is very convenient for us. So Orange Garage parking lot, it takes you directly to the elevator and directly to Disney Spring, which is, in our opinion, it's more quicker than the other garage. Disney Spring also have other variety of parking lot. Disney Spring has Lime Parking Garage, Grapefruit Parking Garage, Lemon Parking Garage, Orange Orange parking garage and also watermelon and mango parking lot. We prefer to drive into the orange parking garage since it would take us directly to the elevator down to Disney Spring. We drove to Disney Springs, which is Walt Disney World world class shopping, entertainment, and dining, which offer more than 150 venues. It is like an outlet mall, but on a larger than Disney level. It has 98 shops, 23 attractions, and over 64 dining experience. Next, the Boathouse, dining located at the landing. The Boathouse is located at Disney Spring. Menu feature fresh seafood, steak, chops, and special menu for the kids. In my opinion, I think this is a great restaurant at Disney Spring. Favor sunset views, which was fantastic service. Next stop, Dream Boat Experience. Enjoying a 20 minute up to four people in the car per tour costs 125 plus tax guide tour on the water of Lake Buena Vista while riding in a vintage vehicle that drives on land and float on water. It was a pretty relaxed at night. Highly recommend. Check in with a little stand by the entrance area, the boathouse restaurant. When you are next on deck, they will call you over to wait behind the rope. The car can fit one person in the front seat, two adults comfortably in the back seat. If you have a small children, they can sit on your lap or squeeze next to you, but there is a minimum of five people. When it's your turn, your captain introduce yourself and you will get a picture taken. They are also willing to take pictures with your own camera if you had it, which is nice. Otherwise, you can purchase their picture in their gift shop. The captain gives you a quick safety brief and then you are off. Crowd forms to watch you enter the water which was really cool. You can take a giant loop around the Disney Spring Lagoon and see the site including the volcano of Rainforest Cafe. We did ours at night. It was a different experience to see everything all lit up. People all around Disney Spring on the bridge and on the dock and other boats wave to you which is nice. It is about 20 to 25 minutes 
ride around. You can ask your captain questions about the vehicle. It was really great because we got to chat with him. Otherwise, they can just leave you and stay quiet to take in the sight yourself. Then when you come back out of the water, there is a crowd waiting there to see you come out of the water as welcoming back. There are enough cars to wear as soon as one leave to go out, another one is coming to unload. It is a good flow and you don't have to wait too long between cars. Overall, it was a unique and different experience for sure. Was it worth the price? See, it's a little steep, but you are paying for the overall experience in the car. This is not just a regular boat ride. It was interesting to do at least one. We were really glad to have it done. However, I think I would try this ride again in the future. Later that night, after a long day of walking and eating, we just need something cool to snack on. So we grabbed Dining Ice Cream Shop, located at the the landing ice cream shop i ordered a chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream the service was quick and the people were really nice i definitely enjoyed it next day was a chill day so we swam at the resort where my mother-in-law was staying at located behind the hotel it was a pretty hot day which was amazing that we went for a swim they do have a little restaurant which serves refreshing beverages mouth-watering lunch and dinner option a large sun deck featured plenty of lounge chairs perfect for soaking up florida sunshine and also relax under the rock waterfall it was really great listening to the peaceful sound of water are splashing around you. Overall, it was a fun day. So cool. That bus is so good. Later that evening, my mother-in-law and I cooked broccoli chicken cheese casserole. It was very delicious. I will have the recipe link in my description box below. Next day, located at Disney Spring, we arrived pretty early. It was empty, which was great. That day, we actually planned to ride the world leader in balloon flight attraction located at the west side right next to the AMC movie theater. Soaring sky high during an eight minute adventure in the world's largest hand helium balloon. We have seen it when we go to Disney Spring and driven and walked by it, never even actually went on it, which was really great. Well, this this day was in queue, they had a special prize. This ride was amazing view. You can also see the Epcot ball, all the other attraction around Walt Disney World Resort. So this ride does move around a bit. So if you get a little dizzy, this may not be a ride for you. If you would like a great view at a very reasonable price, this ride will be the best. Overall, it was a safe and fun, something to do at Disney Spring. Going on this air balloon can get very pricey. Something to look at if you go on the Groupon website 
website, you can usually find a great price. The price to ride the air balloon is $25 per person. Usually, if you just go on the website called the Groupon, they are usually $16 on Groupon when available on their site. So I would highly recommend visiting the Groupon website and find a better deal. Next stop, we stopped by Starbucks. I ordered a cold brew with milk, vanilla caramel, syrup, heavy cream. And we just walked around Disney Spring and getting your exercise. Next, World of Disney World. It is the main Disney store in Disney Spring. If you are a Disney lover and you love to shop for all things Disney, this is an absolutely must when visiting Disney Spring. It's also a good place to get your Disney merch before heading to the park to avoid big queues when getting there. Next stop was the Goofy Candy Company. Shopping located at the marketplace, this colorful shop for goodies, fudge, remain cotton candy, caramel apples, and more. There are a lot of pre-made treats. So if that's what you're looking for, I would definitely recommend Goofy's Candy Company. So our last trip with my mother-in-law, we stopped at Cracker Barrel. It is one of our traditional restaurants to go when my mother-in-law comes to visit us. I ordered the grandma pancakes, bacon, egg, sausage. It was very delicious and filling. Home comfort food. The servers were really nice and the food was very delicious. Overall, we had such an amazing time with my mother-in-law and cherish this moment forever. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, bye friends.